Hi, I'm Phil Canning and I'm here today at Owen Fisheries in Bedfordshire. I'm going to talk to you about fishing maggot short shallow. And we're going to try and catch a bit of everything. As you can see, I've caught a nice carp there, four or five pound. But we're going to work. It's a new fishery for myself today. I'm told there's carp, oid, chub, barbel. Real mixed fishing. So we're just going with with the attack of live maggots, dead maggots. As you can see, it's a cracky looking fishery, lovely and grown up. What I want to talk to you first, I want to talk to you about the rigs I'm using and how I'm going to approach the day. So we're on Yassi's Lake today. Um, as you can see, We've got a far bank, around about 13 to 14 metres wide. Margins down the middle. Cover all over, so on the island got a nice bit of cover. The margins got plenty of cover. But the attack we're going to go today, we're going to fish short with maggots. There's loads of different species in this lake today. So there's chub, oid, barbel, crucians, car. So there's a right, right mixture. But also, like I say, we fish with maggots. You catch all of these fish. None of them are scared of eating maggots. So. And you're keeping your busy, yourself busy all for the day. Plenty of bites to be had. You can feed plenty of maggots. There's loads of fish to be eating maggots. But on a day where you'd be feeding like pellets, not all these fish would want them to be eating pellets, like your roach, your rud, um, your oid and stuff. Yes, you will capture an odd, an odd one on pellets, but maggots, are, we're going to cover all these fish what's in the lake. So the rigs I'm using today, so I've got four inches of 013 line to a 16 hook, um, three number 10s, to a 4 by 10 tink float. And I'm fishing around about 10 inches deep at the moment. I've got three or four number nines as a, a back shot. As you can see with the weather today, it's really bright, flat, calm. So I'm quite keeping like near enough a two foot, um, two foot between the end of the tip and the float. Just because I don't want to be spooking the fish. I don't want my, uh, my, my tip right by the water, especially on this bright sunny day. So that's why I've got the back shot. I'm keeping a tight line all the time. So it just saves me from missing loads of bites and your rig's moving around too much. Down to the elastic end, I've got 10 to 12 zip in the white and down to a little bead. I'm not using um, your normal, uh, like your Dacrons or your other Stompho connector type of thing. I'm just using bead, pull the bead back, loop my loop over the back of the nut and pull the bead down. Just keeping everything direct so it saves you missing, missing bites and it's something similar I'd use for my F1 fishing at the same time as well. On my other, my other rig I've got set up today is a 4B18, same type of setup as the last one, but I've, I've made a, a, a smaller rig set up. If the fish come in a bit shallower or the oid are a bit more finicky and stuff, you want to even deepen this rig off and uh, spread, spread your shot out, you can do. But at the minute I'm fishing, again, 10 inches deep of this rig, a bit lighter of a fall so I can move the shot from up by the hook length up underneath the float and lay the rig in and let the maggots fall through the water nice naturally or can bulk it up a little bit. You can mix and match this rig. That's a good thing about these little floats. They're great for like reading little, little indications, little fine tip on them. But you can find, find out what's going on in your peg if you are getting bites or if there's little little fish, little indications. You can always get that little bit with a short bristle. You can see everything that's going on in your peg. Got a tench. There you go, there's a tench of caught shallow. Not your average fish you normally catch shallow. But that's the, uh, that's a good thing with maggots. Catch a bit, bits and bobs of everything. So uh, what I'm doing is before I'm going out, two or three handfuls of maggots. It's probably around about 50 maggots at a time. And all I am fishing with, I've been putting three dead maggots on the hook. Get the slime off my line. Tents are great for that, making a mess. I'm not replacing all the maggots either, I'm just either one or two replacement maggots. Again, just before you go out, a handful of maggots. You can see them swirling just underneath the surface. There you go. Annoyed that time. 
When you've got one in the net, again, feed again. Take off one of the battered maggots, put another one on. And just repeat the process, nice and easy. So about this short shallow fishing, I think there's, it's come to have been a, a modern, modern way of fishing now, especially with a lot of these snake lake venues, short fishing, even on the deck can be really good, but this time of year, if you can get them shallow, it's a real dominant way of catching them. Big weights, and like today, I'm, I haven't been to this venue before, but get plenty of bites. Mixer size of fish, we caught carp, tench, barbel, and all these type of fish, you wouldn't expect you to catch them on the deck. You wouldn't catch, no, sorry, you wouldn't catch them shallow. Okay, 10, 12 ounces. When you're catching one of these, every drop in. So it doesn't take long to build a decent weight up. And we got six, seven meters of pole out, we're fishing at five meters. It's nice and simple, nice and easy. You don't have to go, over, yeah, you can go to the fire bank if you like to. But I think this is a nice, simple, nice, just simple fishing. A couple of rigs set up, one bait on the side tray, feed some maggots, feed a few more, go out and catch them. Don't know if you can see that on the shot there, but start to swirl. There you're rigging, hold a tight line, got one. What we got this time? A little crucian. Amazing looking fish. So I want to talk to you about what depth depth you'd like to start at. So I always like to start shallower than going deeper to start with. The shallower you can get them, the easier they are to catch. But I also don't want to start deep and start foul looking fish. Um, start spooking fish in your peg. You want to start, I wouldn't say too shallow, I've started off like 10, 12 inches deep today. But I could see they're quite visual in here, they're starting to swirl. Also there's an odd carp swimming about, so that's also helped with this, this longer line I've been using today. Swing to an odd fish swimming past, catch an odd carp. But yeah, say on the deck if it's around about five foot, you, I'd have rigs probably two foot deepest maybe, even three foot sometimes. But anything, even fishing up to six inches deep, even shallow if you got, you can get away with it. But you can see there's bites every drop in that, at the depth you're using now, so. Oil change. Obviously maggots are a lot, a lot slower fall than we fish with pellets and other bigger baits, so maggots hang in the water a lot, lot longer, so you can be a bit more aggressive with maggots. Cracking oil. What I've been using on the hook, I've been using dead maggots instead of using live maggots. Just a lot easier to, a lot easier than putting three or four dead live maggots on. Putting dead maggots on a lot easier. And I'm not changing my maggots every fish. The, the, the smashed maggot, I would say, or two, two maggots were smashed. Just re replace them, leave the other two on the hook, catch another fish. Sometimes you don't even have to change the maggots. That's a good thing with putting some dead maggots on the hook instead of using lives. <coughs> I've just switched rigs, and I'm now I'm fishing near enough six inches deep. We've got four inches of hook length loop to loop on my float, so around about six inches deep. And the oil is starting to get bigger. I started to catch a little bit, bit quality of fish now. The swir the swirling. So it's not it's not all about just fishing with one rig. It's nice having a couple of different rigs set up. So I'm using a 4B8 tink, where on the other rig I've been using a 4B10 in that fishing lock around about 10 inches deep. Again, same type of setup, a couple of back shot. Different in elastic, so I'm using eight to 10 in the zip. Here's a nice carp coming past here if I can get him. Oh, look at that, nice and easy. Again, we just spoke about the different depths. If I'd have had that one just a little bit deeper, 
I could have gone past its face then and missed out on it. So it's nice just having them different little setups. It's under control. While you're playing the fish, just again, puts a bit more bait in. And in a match circumstance, it's a nice bonus this is. Three or four pound carp. When you've been catching oid, where you're gonna need a, a few oid. You catch a carp, four pound-ish. Nice little bonus. Again, all on maggots. Before you ship out again, feed a bit more maggots. With this tactic as well, we're fishing short. The fish are kind of coming to you, you're not going to them. If we was feeding maggots to the far bank, trying to catch them shallow, it's hard work sometimes, but you've got different, different conditions where you've got to like catapult maggots or windy day or just make things easy. Don't get me wrong, every venue is a bit different. F1 fishing, again, that's very different. That we caught a tench, six inches deep, shallow. Nobody would think you'd catch tench six inches shallow. Look at that, it's over a pound. But yeah, get the fish to come to you, don't you go to them. See, if I can catch that five metres, it's a lot easier and quicker then catch that 13, 14 metres. And you couldn't even tell there was a fish in your peg that then when you had that tent. So how I'm fishing my rig today, I'm literally just shipping out and just literally loading my rig in. I'm not slapping my rig, just loading my rig in, feed over the top, holding a tight line, keeping on my float. Just keep repeating the process. I haven't had to slap my rig in today. Literally just ship out, hold a tight line, and feed again. So a few of them little sharp dinks, that's my little little tiny fish that is. It's pulling on the maggots, can't get them all in the mouth. Ducks are well behaved. There are different times when you can slap your rig in, you, if, you're not, if you don't want to feed too much, you can slap your rig in. Well, the fish are not responding to too much bait. You don't have to slap the rig in. You can slap the rig in or just lower your rig. Every day is different. There's a few of the, the fish that swam past me today where I've, I've slapped my rig in front of them, made that little bit of a noise, and I've responded to it, turned around and, and took the maggots. We got not the carp or an oid. Nice big oid. That's fish of the day, nice oid. Just spat the hook out. Lovely fish to end the day on. And these have been coming regular all day long. Fishing between six and ten inches deep. Bites from the word off pretty much. We've caught oid, tench, crucians, carp. Been a lovely day's fishing. Mm -hmm.